I love this stage. I love that they're both in this stage now where they're like, never before has Sophie ever said, hey, can you hold my horse while I go and do all the work? So she's gonna set up all the jumps that she wants to do. If she can, I might actually have to go help her. Who remembers when the girls used to climb up on their horses and I'd be in charge of putting up the jumps? All right, you guys, I'm gonna tell you this and you're not even gonna believe this. Okay, so recently in a video, I said all I need now was a friend for Sophie, a friend that could ride, a friend that's her age, her level. That's all I needed. And I said, I'm gonna put it out there and let God help me out. The girl that we found, that we met today for the first time, just was in the barn all by herself. Her name is Reese. She's 11 years old. She's in grade six and she showed up at our barn. So some people would say that was a coincidence. Some people would say that is a miracle. You just need to tell God what you want he wants you to have everything that you want. If he says yes, then that's amazing. He might say not yet, and that's okay. And he might say, I have something better planned for you. But this time, he said yes. So now I'm gonna, she followed us on, she follows us on Instagram, so I'm gonna try and hook up with her and see if we can get a play date going with her and Sophie. Although we're in 28 day lockdown, so that was not good timing, God. <laughs> Gabby's exhausted. She's like, I'm ready to go home now. I haven't even ridden. Gabby set all this up. I love it. And the most amazing thing. Oh, there's Cavaletti over there. So the most amazing thing about all this is that Sophie just said, I think Storm can do this. And that is half the battle. Knowing that your horse can do it gives you confidence. And a lot of you guys are saying that Sophie's gaining confidence in Storm. And it's so true. She is. It does give you confidence when you know your horse will do it. Well, that's a good way probably or it's because he's going home so Gabby said something super interesting typically the way the horse's mane falls is kind of like what hand they are and their better way Finn is definitely better on the left same with Gina so and then we also learned last week from Brandon and Gabby you, uh, that your left rein what can you hold the strap like yeah. this down in it Ga Brandon told Gabby to start climbing up from ground mounting Oh, can you move your oh. in the way? <laughs> Hold my stirrup, move your butt. Oh, also, did you guys notice that Gabby actually was wearing the green saddle pad? She tricked me. She didn't want you guys to know. <laughs> I guessed it right. The navy and the green look really cute together, though. But anyway, what I was saying is that... Oh, I like it. So, oh, I should say, I hate it. I hate it, too, Gabby. Uh, the burgundy and the pink is kind of awkward, though. Remember... Remember, glue your butt down to that thing. I know, I just wanted to remind you. Um, so what I was saying is that, what Gabby and Brandon were talking about, is that if they say go on the left rein, it's when your left leg is in the middle. Is that right, Gabby? What? When your left leg is in the middle, facing the arena, not the rail, that's the left rein, right? Your whole left side of your body should be facing the middle. So when you're on the right rein, it means your whole right side of your body is facing the middle. How does Fiona teach? Right. So right now she's on the right rein. She's going on the right rein. But why can't right this be clockwise? But for all you people out there that are more like me and not like Gabby and can't just figure things out easily, that is the best simplest explanation I can think of and it's something I learned this week. Are you enjoying him? Yeah. And she will enjoy him and then when she's done his stage Brooklyn will enjoy him and then Aria, my other granddaughter, might enjoy him. Like we will always have room and time for Finny I and mean for Storm. Get used to it, sister. Get used to left to left. So at our old barn, we used to always, whoever was having a lesson got the rail, and whoever wasn't having a lesson had to go around you. Yeah, I know. Everybody knew. I put, I cut down. Yeah, Sophie. 
Sophie did have her very first flying lead change. Well, I mean, Finn does flying lead changes. But it was her first one on Storm, and because she's been really scared about flying lead changes, because you guys know that he does like a fancy one. He's an extra, he's an extra boy, likes to do his fancy business. And she was really nervous about it, but he did it, and she, she was fine. subscribers her name is Mel and she always comments and tells me like she's basically my trainer <laughs> she's basically she said that she loves Sophie and Finn because Finn is calm and relaxed with her but then she loves Gabby and Finn because Gabby teaches and stuff but Gabby has an electric butt so it's like it's like uh oh turn around and wait to a kid who is running on his bike Another day to spend doing nothing, just wait until the night. And if you find salvation, it's the only thing to do. You don't have to look no further, cause I'll take care of it for you. I'll take care of it. Alright, so. Okay. Gotta be chill. So, this is what's on the market right now. <laughs> You got treats, that's why. Take everything we got, give it an honest shot, turning it on and off with being sliding, riding the highest dream, keeping the fire real. I call for you. Hold your gun, cut the wire, aim for fun with a light of fire. I've been flying up the ceiling, taken by this feeling, maybe we're invisible. He's jumping the block. Let's go deeper. I want to reach it all. Taking a leap of all. I'll get to you. Hold your gun. Cut the wire. Aim for fun. With the light of fire. I've been flying up the ceiling. Take it back. She's determined to get this. And he's determined not rain, to do it. Rain, rain, there, there we go. go. I feel like he should be going faster, to be honest. Don't do that, Finny. Finn lost. Oh, oh, oh. Cut the wire. Aim for fun with a light of fire. I'll be flying up the ceiling. Take it by this feeling. Maybe we're invisible. Slow motion, but he does it. Yeah. That's his favorite thing to do. Does he go fast? Yeah. 
Fastest horse, I bet you, I bet you. Oh, yeah. And every single one of his owners have said it in the past. Paige just asked me, does he actually go fast? And we're like, yes. Rider on his back, and this is what happens. I think he's like worried that he's gonna hurt somebody. Like, I, I don't I think mean, he's- Yeah, he's, he's, he's just being nice. Yeah, so I'm get off of me. <laughs> He's tired, yeah, we're just about done. Turn into a party here. Oh my god, we actually made it. That was beautiful. <laughs> that was that was beautiful. Totally uneventful. Get him forward. You guys are right. Finny needs a shave. Like even Gary I is not. Right. Yeah, Gabby wanted to shave him. I'm taking out my camera for this because Finny's thinking. Finn, don't move. Finn, don't move. Finn, Gary. <laughs> hmm, what's that plan? <laughs> Gary's like, I will. Don't worry, Finn. I got your back. I'm gonna get her. <laughs>